well. So let's get this started. Let me start with the stabs. Yeah, and uh, the reason I love my HHKB Tofu, I did love it to begin with, but I think most of you already saw what it did to mine because I thought that the plate was super stiff. So basically what I did, I made it into a plate mount. So we have plates, so we only have the plate still around here. Let me, since we're gonna have to take those out anyways, this is how it is right now. So if you take the switches in the middle here, they are all um, plateless. All right, and to loop stabs, you know what? Let's use something else for this one. I usually use that, but I have my Taobao 205 equivalent that is really good for stabs. So I'm gonna use this one today. I really do like them. It, not them. And for this build, we only need two stabs, uh, one here and one here. So there's not a whole lot to do. Also today I received my white on black and black on white uh, icon mod kits from KB Defense. And we're gonna unbox it too, as well. I don't think it's anything major. Hey, Valhem is following. Thank you, man. Get this. I already have some screws here from my computer that I need to put back. But we can still use it. I like that Gundam mat. Yeah, and I didn't even know that what this was until uh, someone brought it up on on chat. And then I looked it up and I, now I know what Gundam is. Dropped water on my... Oh, no. And it's still not working. So did you unplug it? Oh, you built a Gundam? That's awesome. I really like the, is, is, how are they called? Like they are mechs, I don't know. Mecha or something like that. So with, with mechas, okay. Water got on the PCB. Yeah, make sure, did you, did you leave it unplugged for like two days already? That's the usual advice, at least I think. Fortunately, I nev never had to do that. Man, this music is kind of annoying, isn't it? <laughs> it is annoying for me. Let's change it. There we go. Oh, there. Let's let's see what demon did. Oh, that that looks awesome. Let me see. Bandai. Wow, man, I want to do that. I'm really loving the Elecom. I'm going to bring it to the camera in a second. Let me just finish watching this because this is giving me like um, bringing up memories from when I was a kid and I got those airplane kits like this to glue. That's something I would, I think I would enjoy doing. How expensive are those things? Check it out. Hey, Abbott, how are you? And getting super glue. Yeah, I was a disaster doing that when I was a kid. Even your drink here is giving me thirst. You're left-handed, I see. Yeah, that narrows your options, right, for, for mice. And Ed is here. How are you, man? Welcome, welcome. 
We're checking Mr. Demon's art here. So, Demon, if you're still around, let me know how much this costs. Yeah, man, a long time no see. Yeah, assembly art. But you don't want to take for granted how hard it is to glue those things together. It's very intricate. Man, I really love this. Now I want to get one. All right, so going back here. Yeah, she was talking about uh, this thing that I bought, and I, I really love it. And it's a bummer that they don't have a left-hand option. I really wish they did. Because I'm really enjoying it more than I thought I would, even. You know, just not moving your arm is kind of nice. This is the Elecom Huge Red One. Oh, my camera just died. It, the thing is, my USB C, mini USB C um, cable is kind of almost dying. Let me reset the camera. Hold on. There we go. So I was trying to show you this. This is the huge. So it's the Elecom huge. Elecom is awesome. I saw it a long time ago. Yeah, I really, I'm really enjoying it. Do this. How is the hacking touch? Man, like it's uh, it's working like almost a hundred percent. I even bought this MacBook Air M2 wireless card but it didn't fit on my PCB and I found the right one to buy. I'm just waiting for that for it to work. Everything like Bluetooth and Wi-Fi should work, but I'm doing it, I'm using it on ethernet right now and it's like working flawlessly. Thank God. After all the, <laughs> did I tell you what the main problem was that with the, with the hacking tosh? And I only, understood that was the problem because I tried on Windows and my GPU wouldn't work. I mean, it would work, but all of a sudden it would freeze and then the mouse would stop moving. Yes, that's that should solve the last piece of the puzzle, which is Bluetooth and uh, Wi-Fi. So the problem was that apparently my uh, RX 5700 XT, it doesn't work with PCI 4. I was using it on PCI 4 and it would get there. The mouse would start stuttering and then all of a sudden it would stop altogether and freeze. Uh, and I would get like poor performance. So I went to my BIOS. So after reading a lot and trying different AMD drivers, you name it, I, I got all the way from like version 18 all the way to 22, which I think is the most recent and nothing would work. So in the end, I went to the BIOS uh, and uh, downgraded the PCIe port to 3.0 and then uh, starting that, it worked flawlessly. That's super weird, right? But that's the only thing that worked. And I mean, it works flawlessly now. I don't see any difference of it being PCI 3. Yeah, that's, that's what my motherboard is by default. But for some reason unknown to me, I don't know if it's bad drivers, what it is, but it wouldn't work. Even on Windows, it, I would get those. I it would freeze from time to time. Now, now, after I downgraded it to three, it's flawless. Yeah, one thing that I didn't do was update the BIOS. And I didn't even know that it was an option. But I have been watching so many PC building channels now. I got, you know, my interest peaked a little bit after, oh, and I clipped this wrong, hold on. After I built the Hackintosh, my interest peaked a little bit on the on the subject. And I learned that you can um, upgrade the BIOS. 
but I didn't even think about it. That's something I should do. What? So there's a chance that TMO V2 might ship in April? That would be awesome. No, admit, we are just lubing um, stabs, so you're just on time. Just finished dinner. Man, I just... I am hungry again. I ate about four hours ago. Yeah, four hours ago. And I'm hungry already. Today, after, you know, I think three weeks of eating food that we prepared, I ordered something. And I ordered some very nice Italian food. Man, we had a feast. Hey, Cartoon, how are you? So... I think you know about this already, but I don't know why my bot doesn't like to respect the build command too often. What we're building is a Neuron 40% keyboard on polycarbonate, and we're going to use some tangerines uh, that you can see here. Tangerines uh, round two, uh, 62 grams lubed with 105 and 205, and filmed with TX um, films. Yeah, I'm, that's that will be my first build with the round two. I used it here on my on my hot swap board, and I really liked it. Let's see how it's gonna sound here on the neuron. Have you received the N95 masks you ordered? I did. I did. I received it this week. If anyone here in Brazil needs one. The only thing is that I'm not going to the Mayo anymore because, as you know, I'm on the risk group. So I need to figure out how to ship it out. I'm not even shipping things like that I sell. That's the only thing. I'm trying to guess. Oh, yeah, I th that's the only thing. I can send them. The only problem is how... No, don't worry about buying. I would send up the, the promise was to ship it for free. The only thing is I need to figure out how to get to the mail since I'm not going out because of my bronchitis. That's the only challenge I have right now. But no, I would never charge for them. I, I, let me try to figure something out, admit. Maybe, maybe I can ask someone to ship it out for me. Let's take this offline uh, on Discord. Um, send me the address again, and I'll see what I can do. Yeah, the idea was always to help people here. I do have Loggy. They do that, Demon? If they do that, problem solved, uh, admit, I will ship it no cost. 100%. If you want some, I have them add as well. Really? You're friends with people from Loggy? I use them a couple of times and it's really awesome. Let me just see if those tabs are good. I don't know why, but I think this is going to sound amazing, this keyboard. Yeah, no, I can I can try to help admit. And Ed, if you need some, no, you need to you don't need to pay anything. The again, the whole idea was to help whoever needed it. So, send me your address. I will try to pack them and have the address ready, and I'll see if Loggy can can post them for me. If they can, problem solved. No, man, the hero is 159. He's the hero. <laughs> I'm just doing God's work here. <laughs> awesome. If Loggy can do that, we are golden.
<laughs> Don't use my name in vain. <laughs> I thought you were the opposite of him. <laughs> I'm doing ungod, ungod's work here. I'm freezing my keyboards. That's ungod's work. No, as far as his family, Ed, he's in Portugal. Still. Man, I need to leave this weight somewhere visible because I just love this weight. Oh, interesting. This board has different uh, screws than the other one. For the plate, the other one has regular screws. Hey, Dane Daddy is here. How are you, my friend? And people already know this, but if you're in the market for some awesome mechanical keyboard cables, or if you like watching them, or if you like a cable building voyeur, <laughs> you can give Dane Daddy a follow because he does some awesome streams about that. And he also sells cables. And as a matter of fact, I should be getting a very unique cable from him soon that we're going to unbox here on stream. Actually, I can't wait to get that cable. Hey, CoinStorm, how are you? Thank you so much for the one man raid. And also, Kiluid Down is here. Not really enjoying the 40% build. You hate 40%? No COVID on his mind. Oh, so I see you may like it. <laughs> Didn't have a dessert for dinner. And you know, I'm thinking about brownie. <laughs> yeah. Stay away from my house, admit. You human black hole. <laughs> That's what he is. He's a sponge for food. All right. So here we go. Oh, before we do that, let me take out the switches here. Human black hole. Man, I remember <laughs> we did this. You guys know that Abmit used to work with me, right? And there was this company, um, <laughs> company, re company retreat we did in Sao Paulo. And <laughs> we had free food on the, on the meeting room and admit would not stop getting more food. So I know what you're talking about, that he's a human black hole. I ch oh, okay. Gotcha. Card some oh those those one from dusty caps are amazing i actually got them did you see my unboxing of them jack static you can try to get them so many boxes here let's see if i can grab them real quick yeah which ones did you get yeah i have the the brain and this other guy from rugrats that i have no idea the name of so glad that you got them. The colorway is really nice. Yeah, I love that new color. Oh, you got one of each. There you go. So you're going to have one more than me. And the man, the myth, the legend is here. How are you, 159? Thank you so much for the t 10 months. Appreciate that, my friend.
We were just talking about masks. I'm already planning to shipping some out to Upmit's family and to Ed. So thank you for that. So guys, th make sure that you thank 159. My PC parts keep getting delayed today. Tuesday, I'll have the renders up with the color sample. Great. I just figured out a way to ship them out 159 because I wasn't going to go to the mail because I'm on the risk group. I have bronchitis. And a friend of mine here, um, Demon, just told me that there's this company that they do deliveries called Loggy here in Brazil, and they would post on your behalf if you want to. So problem solved. Half plate in Euro? No, this is a full plate. Makes me feel weird when I'm not wearing one, yeah. Hey, Salt Rock Lamp, how are you? Thank you so much for joining us. I'm making masks at home. My wife is a nurse at the hospital and they have... Oh, that's awesome, Jack Static. I don't know, do you guys follow um, Louis Rossman by any chance? He made a live video yesterday because I don't know if you if you know him. Maybe you know Jessa. Jessa is another is a uh, uh, this lady that does a lot of. She works for iPad Rehab, I think. She's the owner of iPad Rehab, and she does a lot of iPhone iPad repair. She also teaches micro soldering, which is pretty cool. And someone started bashing her because she was making masks and selling them for twelve dollars. Low Rossman, yeah. And he defended her like with such a a passion yesterday. It was so nice to see. Thought it was a, a fun live video. I like the guy, to be honest. I think he's very reasonable. He I like the way he expresses himself very much. Uh, my mother just finished radiotherapy and we are taking a lot of care. That's my girlfriend's family as well. Her mother is still working because she works in security and her grandmother lives in the same house. Okay, admit, I'm gonna give you a tip that I'm doing for myself and for my family as well. Uh, because we, I'm gonna send you a couple of masks, but you only have like two. And the idea is the following. Get, get one mask, like one N95, use them with on your face. And then see if they can ha get um, uh, a fabric mask, put that on top, go outside. When you come back, take out the, the fabric mask, put it to on the washing machine, wash it. And with the, with the iron N95, you put it on a cardboard box and you leave it there for two days, 48 hours. In that between, use the other one with another mask. And then uh, what you do is Keeping it there for 48 hours, the virus is probably, if there are viruses on that mask, it's probably going to die because they only last, it only lasts uh, eight, 48 hours on cardboard. So that's the best way to do it. This way you avoid, um, you know, having any contamination on the mask itself with the fabric on top. Uh, yeah, that's what I'm doing. That's, that's what I have been doing. And I really advise you to do that with your family. Yeah, I heard a couple of approaches. Uh, they do a peroxide mist on the masks for some time. Another way that they're doing is baking the masks on an autoclave, also in a regular oven at 75 degrees Fahrenheit, I think. So those are the approaches that I've seen.
Yeah, the, the main thing, the, the worry, the, what worries me and is, that is really bad is exactly that, the, 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 the possibility of spreading it without symptoms. People don't even know that they are infected and all of a sudden they are spreading it. So what I usually do with soft plates like this um, is to put all the switches on. Actually, what I like to do is put all the switches on outside of the PCB, but since this is going well, <laughs> we're going to stick to it. How are you doing? Good, KVS. How are you? Hopefully, everything is okay over there. But I can't complain. Same thing here, 159. Same thing here. Like my neighbor, I can, I can hear when they open and close their door. And they're going out like nonstop. Nonstop. Like all day long, they're going out and coming back in. And people are jogging. People don't care. They're going to the supermarkets. I mean, that, that you have to do, right? Avoid as much as you can. But they're going to like stupid places. They're going to parks and being in, in a crowd on parks. People don't care, especially because yesterday was a very um, important holiday here. Um, it was what the Good Friday thingy. So people are trapped. They don't care. They think it's, you know, it's an exaggeration. And it doesn't help that our president is kind of conveying that message as well, saying that I have the right to go out and about and I won't um, let go of that right. Right, he said that on television, the moron. Cibernes, it's actually called the Good Friday in English. It's not Holy Friday. Check it out. It's Good Friday. Parks and playgrounds are closed here. Yeah. Uh, here, it depends from city to city whether they're closed or not. I think most of the parks here are closed, but people are still going... You know, to the where you know to the around those parks and jogging and exercising. Did you get all the bulls? Not all. I got six, Victor. I I made the math for more than six, and I couldn't pull the trigger on more than six. Even six were was like a lot. Here's our, our second streamer of the day. Is that is that happening? Victor, are you building it? Build it, build it. So I want to do it like this. And then this guy here is going to be the right shift. Krakatoa Volka, yes. I saw, man. 2020. I, I thought the exact same thing. So I'm putting a heavier switch here for the spacebar or the right spacebar. Let's see how that goes. And I still need to figure out what to do with the bottom row here. So I'm not going to solder it just yet. All right, let's get this started. Chernobyl is on fire? Is that true? Oh, that I didn't know. Is it true? Wow, Hero Sam. I I didn't know about that. How bad is it? And what are the potential problems there? Are is there is there any chance of radioactive stuff or radioactive um, spreading? 
Jesus Christ. Oh my God. Fuck. I, I don't believe this. Like, I seriously, seriously don't believe this. Wow. When it rains, it pours. Yeah, me neither. I wasn't aware of that. I'm really... Wow. When are we getting zombies? Seems like the next thing. The next ne natural thing. I had no idea as well. I want to be able to build at least my singer before the world ends. <laughs> Hold on, let me put the fan up. Four boards coming in the next three months. I hope I get to build them too. Hopefully you will. Hopefully you will be fine. Where do you live, Hope Sen? Hero Sen, I'm sorry. Dubai, okay. How is the situation over there? That's one country I didn't hear anything about. How is it going there? Mr. Kidman, <laughs> how are you, Milk Manu? Mr. Petrov is here. Hello, hello, and Zujo as well. How are you guys? Welcome. Incoming. What? I'm getting a raid? Is that true? Who raided me? No way. No, 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 no. I'm not falling for that. Istaeha raiding me again? Is that true? I'm skeptical. Show us your 3D. <laughs> 880. Okay. That's happening again. <laughs> Holy shit. Show us your 3D printer. <laughs> what is happening? Oh my god, chat is exploding. How are you guys? Thank you so much, Teha, for the... Only 880... <laughs> people raid. Oh my god. I can't even keep it up. Thanks for everybody that joined. And for everybody that is following. 
I have a feeling I would need to disable falling. <laughs> That's how crazy this is. How are you guys? So let me just, um, okay, hold on. I think, I, I think I need to present myself, right? So many new people here. Let's see if I can first disable this um, widget here. Uh, notifications, there we go. Okay, um, if I disable this, we still get the audio. All right, let's leave it going. So, hello everybody. I'm Mr. Keeps. Um, I am a Brazilian keyboard, mechanical keyboard lover. Uh, I stream now for almost, two, no, for more than two years. Um, and I am right now, I'm building a 40% board um, called the Neuron by this good guy, Wallet Burner. And we're building it with um, with uh, the uh, Tangerines Route 2, um, lubed with 205 and 105, a mix of both. And they are filmed with um, TX films. And yes, as you can see behind me here, uh, let me get out of the way, hold on. Yeah, I have, you know, I kind of like keyboards. <laughs> Let's see, yeah, so it goes from there. There's more there on the bottom all the way through there. That's my little wall of keyboards there. Yeah, and that's, uh, <laughs> those are all boards that I built throughout the years. Um, I like to build at least one per week, so you make the math. Uh, that's pretty crazy. And just wanted to thank Taiha again for <laughs> crazy, crazy raid. Oh, the 3D printer? Um, let me see if I can show it. Hold on. Ooh, that's one of them right there. It's a Prusa i3 Mark III. But I do have a larger one. Uh, I have, um, on the other room, I have a CR10 S5, which has a large volume pad that allows me to print, you know, keyboard, larger keyboards. I can't show it, it's in another room. What I think about the Kajal from Wallet Burner, I think it's one of my most wanted boards. I love the way uh, it looks. I love the, the knob itself, it's so beautiful. Like the implementation of the knob and how large it is and how it blends with the board. I am so getting it. And thanks for everybody that is also subbing, like South Rot, Rot Lamp with the gift sub. Thank you so much, man. This is crazy. Like, this is the second time that Taeha does this to me, and I can't thank him enough. Actually, I do own a board that I bought from Taeha before he he was, you know, the Taeha, the multimillionaire from keyboards. <laughs> uh, I rebuilt that, yeah, with... It used to have, what, Ken, uh, Nathan? It had... When I bought it, I think it had... Um, Oh my god, I forgot the name of the clicky switches, the um, the navies, yes. It had navies, I rebuilt it with Holy Pandas first, and now it has Black Inks. Yes, Holy Pandas, exactly, but I bought it with navies. And welcome everybody, like super glad to have you guys here. I'm gonna try to continue and, you know, continue what I was doing, but feel free to ask me any questions you may have. I'll try to keep up with chat because it's going to be crazy, I think. I, I had this happen to me one last time and I almost couldn't speak. And I'm glad I am being able to speak right now. Best 65%. So Snowman, let me tell you something. Uh, I may get, uh, you know, scare people off, but I don't love 65%. Uh, I prefer 60% a lot over 65%, but there is one 65% that I really love because it also has macros on the left hand side and it is the um, the one that I have there is the Jeremini. For me, that's the perfect implementation of a 65%. Man, I love HHKB arrows. I, I, for me, if it has HHKB arrows, I can get away with it. Let me show you the, the one, which is not truly a 65%. Hold on. Let 
This is the Germini, and it does have this macro column here on the left, but I really love this keyboard. And I think it sounds amazing too. Yeah, it's such a nice board. Look at that, the how weird the weight placement is as well. Link, can uh, can someone send me a link for the Germini? It was on Geek Hack first. Yeah, I really love it. DJR 910, I, I really think it's an awesome board, Junia, uh, but unfortunately I don't own one. Let me put it back. When did this board come out? I want to say mid next year, mid, 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 mid last year, uh, and up mid got us a link. So I'm going to open it here and then we can check. That would be my guess. Yeah, March, March 2019 is when it the GB ran. It's a, it's an amazing board. I love it. Yes, 10 Peaches, we're on the same team. I love HHKB arrows. Because you get to still use your left hand for the mods. And thanks again for everybody that's following. Let's see, Legobur. Uh, and Admit also gifted a tier one sub. Thank you, Admit. Lorenzo Cascão Eterno. That's interesting. Uh, Zeki Monkey, Nostravas, Milk Mano, um, Gypsy Nosferuto. I think Meta Slayer 22. Thanks, everybody. Thank you so much. What's your favorite keycap set? Uh, good question. Let me think. I really like GMK Muted, one of my favorites. Um, I'll have to check. Hold on. <laughs> oh, I love, I, I really love GMK Oblivion with the white alphas, Harugomo. That's another favorite of mine. Uh, Yuri is also, and I think everything from Zambomon mostly. I love Serica. I love Nautilus is something, you know, is a set I really love and it was my first GMK set. I love Serica and I really, really like Hamon as well. So everything from Zambomon. I think I'm, I'm a Zambomon uh, fanboy. There, I said it, I said it. Favorite key set that's currently running. Let me think. Um, uh, the one that came to mind is already ended. It's uh, GMK Botanical. I think that set was amazing. But running right now. Okay, I love everything cat. Uh, I fell in love with the cat profile. So right now what's running cat Space Cadet is really nice. Oh, Dixie Mac Redacted is going to be amazing like I, I love the idea i fell in love with it thoughts on dots i still didn't receive mine I, I should be receiving next week so i can tell yet but i love the idea of course and gmk necro best gmk set i think redacted will end up running i think the, the, the what i heard is that um dixie has been planning that set for a while so i think it's very likely that it will indeed run yes yeah, super switch i think you're you're gonna love it it's my favorite profile i like it better than gmk and let's see milk Mano just gifted a tier one sub to rope thank you so much milk Mano. uh wax 22 just followed as well thank you Redacted on Storm Grace S75. That's the thing about the colorway of that set. It's going to look good in most of the boards, right? Yeah, I love the concept as well. I really think Dixie killed on that one. Thank you, Carlo Baji, as well, for the follow. And Haichu. Thank you, thank you. I 
I think it's the same color as Minimal. I, I would think so. I know it's a Minimal set, but I'm really liking the getting... Yeah, I think I, I'm going to end up getting Bleached as well, even though I already have Minimal. I think the difference is... <laughs> Look at that. Ungodly design with the five gift, sub, gift subs. Thank you so much, man. And for those of you who don't know, Ungodly Design is the designer of Luna that we will be building one on stream soon. Make sure you give him a follow on Instagram. He also goes by Ungodly Design there. Feel free to post your Instagram link. De onde você é do Brasil? Where, where are you from in Brazil? I'm in Campinas, Yuri. Are you Brazilian as well? Where are you? What is your fifth favorite 50%. So my favorite 50% is the TMO50 and also the ATS45 right now. Oh, Mechanist, you're working on a cat set? Man, you do the, one of my favorite scopes already and now you're working on a cat set? I mean, that's crazy. Make sure you give Ungodly Design a follow, please. Also, Mechanist, if you want to share your Instagram, I think most people here already know you, but in case someone don't. Mechanist though the, does the Crow Baba, um, and I'm pretty sure I slaughtered the name of the, but it's the, the octopus um, sculpt, artisan sculpt that I really love. Me too, Super Switch. Oh, so you're Brazilian in Reno, Nevada. How is the Corona over there? Is it crazy or under control? Thankfully, here in Brazil, you know, even though it's getting worse, it's getting worse, it's not super bad. I don't know if I'm going to get Bleached or Hennessy. I'm probably going towards Bleached. I may get Hennessy as well, I don't know yet. And if I ever get it together, my own 50% design. I think 50% is really a sweet spot for a first keyboard, right? Not as bad as New York and Washington. Yeah, Bushido. Yeah, I'm going to join Bushido for sure. Pre-Rick, did you? Yes, and we have the new Clifford launching in 1.5 hours. By the way, if you guys don't know that, so let me show you first the Lunar... Oh, my God. Lunar. It's really hard to type here. Lunar. No. So let me show you those two things. Lunar. Send me a link to your Lunar. Meanwhile, yeah, I'm not going to be able to do that while soldering, but I'll show that after. And thank you so much, 72 Atari, for the tier one subscription. Thank you so much, man. Appreciate that. And Cartoon91 as well. Thank you, thank you. You an Alice fan, dude? Let me see. Am I an Alice fan? <laughs> I am. I am. And I just got into the... the. Then too bad I just took those keycaps off for another board. But I also entered the um, Jack, just Jack Static board. Rukia. That's going to be... Carbon fiber and stainless steel. So yes, I am a big fan. Those switches are Gatoron Giants. Very interesting switches that ran a while ago. You got the R2? I did. Couldn't resist it. And let's see here, Sniper Bob. Just subscribe, thank you so much. Uh, Bessie ID followed along with Marios, Larson, GMA, Ryukuchi, 72 Atari. Thank you so much, guys. Oh, 72 Atari actually subscribed. It's hard to keep up. I'm not used to this much people. I'm currently waiting on my Clavier Alice. Yes, Clavier is the best, man. The stuff he does. So there are two versions of Giants KVS. There is the Milky housing and the regular housing versions. I have both of them. And I think the regular housing sounds a little better, to be honest, from my experience. How are they be My board just got built by Nathan. Really? Which board is that, Su Sujo? 
Including waiting my... Uh, I thought the Giants... Yeah, so I answered all that. And Demon just subscribed. Thank you so much, Demon. Is there a way to disable the sound on the follows? Let me see, because I know this can be annoying to viewers. So I have to go to Streamlabs to do that. Streamlabs. So let's see, KBD 75 V2, my first custom. I have one of those and I really like them. I think they were are one of the best bunks, uh, bucks for the <laughs> banks for the buck. I can't English today. There we go. So let's give Mechanist a follow on Instagram. Hold on. This is his new scoop. This horrible, horrible, terrible. I don't know how people would buy this. So don't join his next raffle because this is too ugly. So follow my advice and don't don't enter this raffle. Please don't enter this raffle. That's the takeaway. That's incredibly amazing, right? I love, love, love that scoped. So I'm trying to disable the sound for the notifications. Give me one second. Let me see alert box. Alert delay. Is there a way to disable sound? New alert will interrupt. Um, hold on, guys. So I'm going to disable follows for now. Let me save this. There we go. So I'm going to still read them. And this is Ungodly Designs. This is the Luna keyboard that has a lot of very interesting features. And this is also being machined by our good friend, what's his name? I forgot, Salvan. So that's a big plus as well. Make sure you follow him as well. We will be building one on stream. Loved how you thought I was trolling. I totally did. I totally did. <laughs> And here is the link straight to the Luna keyboard. Thank you for that, Captain Ladies Ben. Also Nick, by the way. There you go. And you get to choose the insert color as well, which is awesome. They are still in stock, by the way. I didn't realize I have a reputation to uphold. <laughs> no, I mean, Mechanist does sick artisans. If you're into artisans, make sure you join the raffle that is upcoming in the next one hour, one hour and a half, because that's a very, very nice um, cap right there. I have the first colorway incoming, but I still didn't receive it, unfortunately. But we will be seeing that on stream soonish. Extras probably at the end of the month. So ho hopefully we will see both a typing test and a build log here. I want to say in three or four weeks, we'll get to see that. I'm always late to the party because I live in Brazil, but we, we will still see it. Do you have any opinions on what switches would sound good in acrylic with copper plate, struggling to make a choice. So I'm a little biased because I am a linear fanboy. And for metal plates, 
the switch that I like the most is the um, is the black inks. I, I think they have they are heavy enough to make it interesting, and I just love the sound of them. So let's see who's following now: Fipokos, Spar Cans, Bessie ID, and Marius Larson. I think I already said that a few. And Nathan Ever, thank you so much for the follow. And I see that disabled following didn't help, <laughs> which is all good. Okay, let's see what's left here. Minterly likes clickety tactile switches. Did you film those tangents? Yes, I did admit. Box navies. That helps. Was so between some linears and the holy pandas I have on the bench. Yeah, as I said, I'm biased um, because I really like linears. But if you haven't tried holy pandas in other builds, maybe go with holy pandas. They are interesting as well. Rob27 Shred, thank you so much for the follow. Appreciate it. So now we need to figure out the bottom row. Let me bring up the layout. Hold on. Where is the neuron? Right here. So that's the layout of the board. Um, so the left space is 225. So it's a left shift. I think something like this maybe. And the right one should be a 275. Let's see here. Yep, 275. Do I even have any 275s here? Not. I don't think so. Hold on. No, this is not two seventy five. There we go. Hope you and the family are staying safe and healthy. We are, uh, Mechanist. We are really staying put. We're not put. We're not going anywhere. So so far, everything, everybody's really healthy. Thank God. And what about you? Are are you staying safe as well? So here we're gonna do. So it's um. Let's see. I think it's a two. One point five. Okay. Yep. So one point five. It's logo poop. Why you don't like the tangerines? Drop has a sale going on. Not sure if the exact ones though. Yep, staying in exactly the same here, mechanist. Not going anywhere.
Thank you, Extend FN, for the follow. And thank you, thank you, Touch. Where can I buy Holy Panda? FX, I think right now, if drop, don't have them, only on Mac Market. Yeah, I, I really like Halos by themselves as well. I don't think they're necessarily bad. So if you can find Holy Pandas, maybe you can still get some Halos. Either to use them by themselves or to mix them up with some Pandas from Novel Keys. I don't know if they are still selling them. Why do so many Mac builders love linears? Uh, so Nostrovus, I think there is a, at least a path that I recognize from everybody that joins the hobby. And, um, you know, throughout that experience is people usually start on the hobby liking clickies. That's how I started. And then they, they start to liking tactiles. And after a while, they just fall in love with linears. At least that's what happened to me. So I think that's, that can be the explanation. <laughs> all right i think all those caps are all those switches are good did we finish let's see Alright, so everything is where it's supposed to be, and so let's see if all the switches are working before we assemble the case back. And for those of you who are new to the channel, we have a tradition here, and you're about to know about it. It's called the Josh tradition. So, hold on. And this is how we test our keyboards here. Hey, people, how are you? Thank you so much, Dane Daddy. Yeah, did you see? I got raided by Taihan. Okay, so here we go. Mm, hold on, yeah. So this is supposed to be function, yes. This is probably another function. Yeah, and this is the Windows key, okay. It looks like everything is working. And I'll do Kenson, thank you so much for the follow. Uh, one thing I want to try to do before we assemble the case as well is to reprogram this with our layout. Let's see if I'm able to do that. So hold on. Let me share my screen with you guys. Bring the music back. This gives you have experience with Rosilios, and if so, what do you think? Remind me again, is Rosilios the silent tactile from Zio? If so, I like them. I, I have used them on my silent linear. Yeah, okay. Yeah, sorry. That's what I meant. Silent linear. Yeah, I use them on my... I think... 
Yeah, I think I used them on my Prime E, and they are really good after lubed. But I only like lean, uh, silent switches for plates, for boards with integrated plate. Otherwise, I don't like using them very much. Yeah, they are recolored Helios. That's true. So we're going to go into QMK here. And we're going to try to copy the, let's see, keyboards. Uh, neuron. So wallet burner. Wallet burner. Neuron. Key maps. The full into keyboards. Wallet burner. Neuron. Key maps. Mr. Keeps. And we're going to open VS Code to reprogram this. Hopefully this will be fast because I already have a similar keyboard. Let's see. Um, neuron, Mr. Keeps, key map. And I'm going to copy the layout from my Pearl, I think. Mr. Keeps split. So let's grab this. Maybe I should get it from my daisy. I think the daisy is better. Yeah, okay. So let's start copying this. Um, board doesn't support VIA. I don't usually use VIA Omar. I prefer to do my own layouts on QMK. I'm, I'm old, eh, so I like that. So that's how I pro you know, usually do. So let's do a layer shorthand here. This way we have three layers, the base, the extras, and the control. I'm going to ma maximize the clue board with split space bar and shifts. Any tips? Uh, just pay attention to how you use the, the split. Uh, I'll show you how I like to use it. And we can... So I'd like to use escape. Then this is going to be either control or tab. Oops. So let me copy this over here. And then we're going to do... Instead of left GUI and out, we're going to do out and left GUI because I use a Mac. And we're going to do this side, we're going to do the same. That way. And then the left space is going to be my function, one of my function keys. So we're going to call it KCAXP. Is it necessary to loop switches? I wouldn't say it's necessary, irreality, but I, it's, it's so much better. So for me, you know, nowadays it is. All right, so I don't like to use this TRNS. So what I'm gonna do is replace all of them by this. And so am I, this is my base layout. This one here is my extras layout. And we also gonna make one more. Oops. You see, I'm not used to use windows. The last one is gonna be the control layer. So here we're going to do grave and let me copy everything from. So let me see this row here. Um, hold on. Yeah, so it's the same as the daisy basically. So we're going to copy it over here.
There we go. So we have numbers on the first layer. And we need the equal. Equal here. Minus here. Then again, equal here. Minus and quotes, then left bracket, right bracket, and the backslash here. Now for the last layer, let me see this board does it have underglow? No, so we don't need to worry about that. Let's see what else is important here. So the mute, just volume down, volume up. And then we need our HHKB arrows. So we're going to do up, right, left. Down. This is going to be page up. Sorry, page down. And this is going to be page up. This is going to be end. And this is going to be home. With that, I think we have the layout that I like to use on my 40%. Let me save this and let's see if we can build this. Hold on. I'm going to catch up with chat in just one second, guys. So we're going to make the wallet burner slash neuron with the Mr. Keebs layout. Let's see if that works. So let's see here. Uh, Aldon Canson, Jazz772, XLarry, Mr. XYZ, and Neth the noob uh, has followed and escaped has just subscribed with the twitch prime thank you so much escaped thank you thank you what are you programming i'm, I'm bad with this sort of stuff uh, i'm basically doing the um, the layout for the keyboard that we just built and i can see that something's wrong here what it is what is it uh let's see i think i forgot a comma so let me close this so we can take a better look um, let me just see something because I think I forgot to part the side. So we have backspace, enter, yeah, we have enter, yeah, and here we have, instead of mo momentary one, we have this thing. Yeah, now that's good. All right, let's see if we forgot some commas here. So we have one comma here. Yeah, we missed the comma right here. Let's compile it again and see if we can make it work. There we go. I think it's working this time. Let me open the QMK2 box. So let's wait for this to finish and then we're going to open that X file. Here we go. Let's open it. And now we're going to enable auto flash this way. As soon as I hit the reset button, as you can see from this view, you see that as soon as I hit the reset button on the board here, it's going to start flashing. That's a great feature of QMK2 box. Now it connected, let's reset it. And let's see if we get it to flash. Seems like it's working. There we go. It should be flashed now. So we are basically done with the programming. Now we're gonna get to reassemble the case. So, yeah, this is what, what's called the 40% layout. It is very tiny. 
but there are tinier boards, believe it or not. There are boards that are 30%. The PCB company made an API for the PCB. Not exactly. What happens is there is this open source project called QMK, and it's basically a keyboard firmware um, that is open source. And you can create your PCB to support QMK. So that's what most of the keyboard builders nowadays do. Nowadays do. It supports QMK. So you can program your own layouts and whatnot. It's almost like an API. What's this Malice board that you own yourself? I'm going to show it in a second. Let me grab it. Hold on. This nice board here is called, as you can see there, the 30. And it's a 30%. Look how tiny it is. And it sounds amazing too. Is it that easier than making a driver? Way easier, Mr. XYZ. Sujo, yeah, I love this keyboard. It's aluminum and it's a 30%. You have to do a lot of tricks to make this usable. And that's where QMK comes into play because there's no way you can use a board this small without a lot of layers and a lot of functionality. Like for instance, uh, those keys here, they are usually, you know, alphas, but depending on how I use them, they become mods. It's, it's very interesting. All right. Let's start reassembling this guy. Is Bangod a good site to buy the PCB? Uh, I think for customs, it's really hard to find a PCB that is ready to buy. I think most people, what most people do is either they join a group buy or they buy it after market on Reddit slash Mac market. I think that's where most people buy their stuff for mechanical keyboards. Holy shit, you have a ton of boards. I know, right? Check, check that out. There's more on the bottom as well. Have you used that? No, I can use that keyboard. Like, I can really use it because I programmed it in a way that it's usable. But you can use it, yes. There's a bunch of KiCad templates on GitHub from... Yeah, that's true as well, what Ungodly is saying. Um, if you want to go down the route of designing your own PCB or just building one from an open source project, that's another thing you can do. You can go to a PCB manufacturing website like PCBWay or JLC PCB, which I think is the cheapest option and they're really good. So you can, you know, leverage those to get your PCB built, but then you have to assemble them yourselves. You have to like buy the components and, um, build them yourself, solder them yourself, unless you buy a service called PCBA, which is PCB assembly, where they not only build the PCB, but they also assemble all the little components, the SMD components for you. My favorite KiCat profile used to be GMK, but I'm just in love with Cat. Cat is so darn good. That's true. Oh, Oshpark is a great manufacturer manufacturer in US. If you don't want to wait for something to ship from China or if you want to support American manufacturing, that's a great option. Thanks for that, un Ungodly. That's a great resource that Demon just shared. That's a spreadsheet, a Google spreadsheet with all the GBs, the keycap GBs that are upcoming or running at the moment. It's a really great resource. 
Yeah, that's the problem with Oshpark, what, what uh, Super Switch just said is true. Okay, guys, now we need to figure out which set we're putting on this board. Help me out here. I also need something that has a spacebar kit. Any ideas? Yeah, anything will look really good. Let me think. Let me see what I have here. Yuri, I don't have space bar for Yuri. DMG is over there, not sure. Olivia, I don't know if I have space bars for Olivia. Let's see. Olivia, where are you? Come on, let's get that. Here's Yuri. <laughs> Just for the lols, we have Necro here. I still can't find Olivia. Found it. How would Necro mods with Yuri Alpha's look? That's a good question. I have no idea. Let me just see if we have spacebar kits for Yuri on this bag. I have another Yuri set. Let me see if we have space bars for Olivia. Yeah, we do. Do you guys want to do Olivia? I have space bars for that. I don't think I've seen the Necros on a build before. Alright, let's do Olivia then. Yeah, I think it's a perfect fit because I do have the 40% kit, I think. Alright, so... Yeah, this is going to be a perfect fit. I do have the 40% kit, I remember now. So let's see here. Why do you like cat more? I don't know, it feels better on the fingers. And I can type a lot faster with it as well. I just love the way it, it feels. You see how good it is? We have the proper keys for everything. It's a little higher, yes. What switchers are those? Those are um, 62 grams tangerines round two. Thank you for the follow four. Appreciate it. Let me just um, see. 
see something real quick. Who is the manufacturer of cat? That's a good question. I don't know either. Cur creative. Okay. I didn't know. Yeah, those guys are killing it. I love cat. Okay, wait. This is wrong. It's 1.5. So now we need the small enter. I am pretty sure that this came with a small enter. Let me see if I can find it. Someone who thinks he just submitted the wrong raw color, like raw color exists that are closer to the renders, but she didn't use them. What is that for? Ah, for Necro, yeah. Yeah, Necro was very controversial, to say the very least. Sorry that I can't keep up. It's really hard to find what I need to find and still... No, this is not gonna work. So I found this escape, but it's not the correct roll. I feel like GMK Choco is a better version of Necro. Yeah, I'm really thinking about joining the round two of Choco. I always liked it. This is the escape we've been looking for. Oh, we also have the accented too. Let's see, the accented Olivia Hart. So I got this wrong. So, yes, the, the giggles. <laughs> Sorry about that. Yeah, I messed up there. I wish I had seen that earlier. <laughs> Yeah, I knew it. We do have an enter here. Yeah, and this is the nice thing about this set. I know I said that already. Okay, so we do have... Let me change this one over as well. Put some accent there. Yeah, this is too small. Do 
Do we have the larger space bar? I don't see it here. I think we're going to have to rely on a shift here. It didn't come with the large space bar. At least I'm not seeing it. That's a shame. Where is the other out? Here it is. Yeah, for now we're gonna have to do this shift here. I don't have the space bar that I thought I did. What is the common size for a spacebar? Yeah, 625. This is like the regular size. and I think we are done. Yep, I think that's it. What do you guys think about how it looks with Olivia? Neuron is like the best keyboard. It's so pretty. Matches the task map. Good point. Good point. And Bean is following. Thank you so much. Necro would be better. We can we can replace it with Necro afterwards. If you want. If you insist. Thank you, P heads. For the follow. Not that good. Yeah, we can do Necro afterwards. Let me just do an initial typing test and we can try Necro. No worries. There we go. Let's zoom in. There. And let's do a quick typing test and then we can try Necro. Sorry for the shaky camera. Neuron hard to solder? I don't think so. Curious to know your opinion about the tangies. Yeah, we're gonna see that. Sorry, here we go. Let me stop the music. You guys ready? Here we go. Oops, maybe not.
Yeah, I, I am really digging this. Let's see. It sounds even better than in person, to be honest. All right, so one final wish that people ask for is to replace the key set with Necro. Your wish is my command, and we shall do that. Let me remove the keys. We currently have it here, and let's see how it looks with Necro. I know Necro with polycarbonate is going to look very nice from experience. Did you bag loop the stem? Yeah, I did, yes. I always do bag loop. I not only bag loop, but I also did the uh, films. It is looped and filmed. I gotta bounce, but good stream as always, Mr. Gibbs. Thank you so much for joining us, Super Switch. Hope to see you streaming soon. And if you guys are in chat, make sure you follow Super Switch. She always do a lot of builds herself. And she got new camera gear just this week. So make sure you give her a follow. Would you recommend bag lubing springs? I always do bag lubing, so I, yes, I would recommend. Honestly, your keyboards are always the best sounding in the game and they are so consistent, there should be a reason. I think it's because the way I loop them, I loop them consistently. So I think so. And because I like um, linear switches. You bet, Super Switch. Stay safe. Take care. And thank you for that, Fabirock. That really means a lot. Hey, has knowledge. These switches are tangerines. Round two. All right, here we go with Necro. We're gonna have to do some adaptations with this because I don't have the right keys. This set doesn't have the 40%. I think this is wrong. And thank you, Cryon King, for the follow. Look how tiny this set is in comparison to Olivia. Necro looks pretty good. Yeah, I, I knew it would. The only reason I didn't go with it initially is because I know that Olivia has a better support for 40%. And I was thinking maybe we can get away with it. Which we couldn't. to figure out what we're putting there. And 
Don't you have a good Ziploc bags there? Is there something else I could use to bag lube? Yeah, there is. Some other thing that you... If you have something like this, like you could potentially use it. It's what, what's the name of that guy? Walker? Walker keyboard something, keyboard science. He uses a larger version of this. He basically lube all the walls and then he shakes the switches, the stems inside it. So that's another thing you could try. And Fantasy24, thank you so much for the follow. Appreciate it. Clinton, Clinton Morton, thank you so much for the follow. Nice, we have a function that fits there. That's nice. Ever had a kick up set you liked the renders, but it ended up disappointing in person? Uh, what was the last one that I got disappointed with? I think one that I really got disappointed, and don't get me wrong, I love the guy that made it. And it's the, um, the set by Bip that has um, the bento set. Unfortunately, the mods are, the mix of colors is not that good. The red clashes with the, with the blue. Bento, yes. But I would still buy it regardless. That's how much I love Blip and what he does. Bip, not Blip. But I got a little bit disappointed. That's the best I've ever seen, Necro. Yeah, I think it, it suits this board, right? All right, now we need to make a few decisions on what to put where. Uh, for escape, I was thinking we could still do a row one, either this or this, what do you guys think? The accent color or regular color? What do you guys think looks, looks better? Accent, okay, let's keep accent for now. There you go. And then I think we're gonna do, yeah, to go with the accent, maybe this guy here. And we're going to have to do this shift, but not this shift. Where is it? Here. And then I'm just missing one out. Here it is. And the letter P. Where is the letter P? Hmm. Not finding letter P. I think I either lost the letter P or I left it on the drawer because I just put this set back. I'm not seeing it here, so I have to look in the drawer. Virtually ran out of community with pitchforks after her. Yeah. Yeah, the letter P is really not here. So let me see what we're putting here and then I'll have to look for the letter P on the drawer. So this is a 125U. 
we're gonna have to do something like this let me see if it's on the drawer hopefully it is What do we say to keyboard gods, guy? What do we say to keyboard guys today? Not today, keyboard gods. Not today. <laughs> I found it. It was in the drawer. Thank God. I agree that it looks a ton better. <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> I always have this fear that I lose one key for a key set and then it's ruined forever. But not today. GMK Mint, yeah. There is actually a GMK Mint chocolate and I do have it. It's not very good. It's a very... This, this set is really sold for affordable prices. Of course you have it. <laughs> Jim Key Dots looks better in real life. I was really pleased. Pretty pleased. I can't type. Though. <laughs> yeah, that's, a, <laughs> that's the problem when you get like a blank. It's really tricky. I can type on blanks, but sometimes I get pretty fucked up by it. All right, I know the sound didn't change at all, but we're gonna do an another typing test, just for the sake of it. Let's see. Do we have an acro here? I doubt it. No. <laughs> we don't, let's stick to what we have. Oops. There you go, all right. You guys ready? Here we go. Wow, 103. That's <laughs> that's pretty high for my standards. That's that was awesome. I think it sounds really good. Let's um, take this away. And guys, this is what we built today. This lovely, lovely keyboard by Wallet Burner. How pretty is this board? Sounds really good. I am pretty satisfied with the. Uh, with the tangerines and I'm definitely using it again for a build in the future. So cute, right? I love this. Can I time out look Alex? You should. It sounds twice as better with Necro. <laughs> I average a hundred. Yeah, my my WPM is like 90 to 95, 85 sometimes. Boss approved. <laughs> Let's take a look at the bottom because that's another hold on highlight of this board is this crazy s s that it has <laughs> right what a sexy back here's the back side and here's the back side from this angle. I just love it. <laughs> I put 808 on a Razor Black Widow. How did you fit the bottom row? Isn't the bottom row like different? 
All right, guys, this is what we have for today. So I just wanted to thank everybody that came from Nathan's stream again for everybody that followed. This was very humbling and very nice for me. Um, and just so you guys know, uh, if you're into keyboards, make sure you follow me. I do at least one build per week. Yes, it's over. Uh, what is the wait? Uh, I can go get a scale. Give me one second. Hey, hello, Fian Roy, or something, Fiano Roy, Fiano Rui. <clears throat> First impression on Tangis V2 is they are really nice. <clears throat> um, they sound and feel really nice, uh, admit. They remind me of round one, and they are like a good, very good linear. I do recommend them, but again, this one is... Uh, Looped and filmed. So let's see. Okay, let's do this little thing. You know, we have a lot of people in chat. How much do you guys think that this board is going to wait? Remember that it has a huge brass bottom. Does PC sound different from acrylic? Yes, a little bit different, but not that different. Clever Lion. 700 grams. 3.2 kilos. 2.1. 1 kilo. I did admit 1.2, let me see. Three pounds, 900 grams, two kilos. I think it's around two kilos, a little less, 1.5 maybe. That's my guess, let's see. 165 for Luke, and I'm gonna do it in kilos first. Here we go. Wow, so it's way less than I thought. Only 870 grams built. Crazy. Who won? I don't know. Did anyone? Demon, I think, won. He did He did 700 grams. You did, man. You're getting a new run shipped to you. <laughs> what did you... Did you do Osu? Osu toast? What was your guess? Price is right rules, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> exactly so let's see in freedom units it's one pound 14 and three quarters ounces for whatever that means oh you did 900 yeah you want it you got it osu sorry i missed that so demon you're not getting it <laughs> okay guys i think that is it so we built this amazing board today. And I was saying before uh, people ask me to weigh the board is I do build streams every week, almost uh, sometimes two builds per week. And I do a lot of unboxings as well. So make sure that you follow me. And also if you wanna go to my discord, uh, we have, we tag everyone every time we I go live. So. And we also have a lot of other content creators there. So be, be welcome to join. Thank you, Demon, for the link. Unfortunately, the bot is crazy. But the link is down below as well if you guys want to join. Oh, there it is. Thank you so much. Wait, so you build keyboards and you do giveaways on that keyboard based on who wins the weight contest? It was a joke, Clint, Mort Clint R. Morton. I'm sorry. No, I don't. <laughs> But I, I am I, I do have a few things to give away. Um, I'm just waiting for the right opportunity. When the coronavirus goes a little down, we're gonna have some some giveaways. That's for sure. I wish it was the truth. 
I am the bot. <laughs> yes, you are. Nice to meet you too, Saku. Saku. Thank you so much. But look at the background, you know, he's got a few keyboards. Yeah, I do. <laughs> Guilty as charged. <laughs> but again, guys, um, really humbled by all this audience. I usually peak at 50 people, tops, and really appreciate you guys sticking all the way to the end. And I hope to see you guys around next time. With those words, <laughs> I'll let you guys go. Let's just see if someone is streaming. We could give this back and raid someone since we are so many, right? Let's, let's pay it forward. Thanks for the stream today. Thank you, Demon. Thank you, everybody. Let's see who's streaming, though, before we wrap this up. And let's see if we can pay it forward. Twitch. Uh, Twitch. Is Merlin? Oh, for sure. Let's raid Mac Merlin. All right, guys. Again. Thank you so much. And if you want to stick around for mo some more keyboard content, Mac Merlin is a very nice guy. So stick around and I'll see you over there. Stay safe, you too. Thank you so much, Salt Rock Lamp. Thanks, everybody. Really enjoyed this one. Thank you. Thank you. Bye now. <laughs>